Hello, hello, welcome back. Um, if I have succeeded, and um, this is past Anna, asking future Anna, <laughs> um, you should have maybe had a little bit of like a channel intro before this video. Um, this is very wishful thinking, it is Monday. I put the last video out yesterday. Hoping maybe this video might go out next week, um, next Sunday, so again, depends what day you're watching this. But yeah, it's Monday, and I thought I'd make a start on this week's video now. This week's video, as you can tell by the title, should be, hopefully should be, unless I have um, an absolute disaster tomorrow, um, a DIY milk recording slash selective dry cow therapy information video. So for anybody who maybe isn't a dairy farmer or isn't aware, um, milk recording is basically the process of taking a milk sample from every cow. Um, we do it every month and then testing the milk sample for butterfat percentage, protein percentage, cell count, lactose, that kind of thing. Um, and then obviously her milk yield as well. As we are a pedigree herd, this is really important information for us to have on the pedigree side. Cow's milk quality basically goes with her for the lifetime. and. Obviously in pedigree breeding you want a cow that produces lots of milk, lasts for a long time and then also has good components or solids or butterfat and protein percentage. So it's the next day now, I'm just bringing the cows in, we're going to milk record them this evening and I wanted to briefly intro the next part of the video. I'd said that I would try and chat a little bit about selective dry cow therapy, um, how we use it on our farm and kind of the reasons behind it. Um, I think it's a really important thing to chat about, uh, especially going forward, more legislation, things like that within dairy farming. It's definitely something we need to have on our radar anyway, at least, if it's not something that you're willing to do yet. So yes, you'll probably skip back now to past Anna, who was sitting in the tractor and being very annoyed by the beep of the JCB. So while I wait on my dump trailer full and I thought I would try and explain a wee bit more about selective dry cow therapy and what it is you know what it is why we use it and why i think it is beneficial so selective dry cow therapy is basically <sighs> this is a bad time to try and do this <laughs> anyone else love to pull the beep out of their jcb shovel okay close the window maybe this will help um but yeah selective dry cow therapy is basically when you pick and choose based on data between different treatments for cows when you're drying them off. Okay, I've moved. Uh, so yeah, traditionally, or at least whenever I was growing up, we always would have used an antibiotic tube when we were drying off cows. Obviously, cows get four of these, one in each teat, <laughs> obviously. And then we started using these here, Orbacil um, sealants. These have no antibiotic in it. Idea of this is to cure any existing infection. Idea of this is to stop any new infection into the udder. So yeah, whenever I was growing up, that's what we would have used. Um, but obviously in the last couple of years, AMR, or antimicrobial resistance, has become a massive talking point within the animal health world, as well as within the human health world. And so we all have to kind of do our part, I suppose, to make sure that when we need to use one of these, they do actually still work. So if my editing skills allow, I might try and pop a um, little screen recording up here. If you're watching a screen recording right now, please give this video a thumbs up because I am not a technological person. So pat on the back, Anna. If there is not a screen recording video here, that'll be very embarrassing for me. I thought I'd pop this up and show you the kind of information that we look at to decide between giving a cow an antibiotic tube or giving her an, an Orbacil tube, um, a non-antibiotic sealant. If I remember correctly, and I'm gonna pick the, the cow that I remember, this cow has had a number of low cell count readings in her past milk accordance. I think from what I can remember, they're pretty much all under 100 to be one big one. So this is the kind of cow that will qualify to get selective dry cow therapy. Probably worth noting that this is just what we do in our farm. It'd be very different somewhere else. Some people agree with selective dry cow therapy. Some people majorly disagree. I think it's it's quite a hard thing to introduce if your farm has a cell count problem already. It's probably not the answer in that case but if you have a farm that is traditionally a low cell count farm or low cell count herd, selective dry cow therapy is a really advantageous tool um, in your herd management. So the parlor's all good to go. Um, I have all my test bottles in. <laughs> now, just for probably my second favorite job of the day. First favorite job, love letting the cows out in the morning. Second favorite job is seeing them all come in together. 
And there is one shouting for me right now. <laughs> loud in here whenever we get going so I'll probably not be able to explain very much um, of what we're doing or what all's going on but basically simple as um, the cows are just going to come in as normal these bottles um, will be attached to the milking unit up there when the cow milks drips of her milk will come into the bottle then basically all I'm going to do is pour what's in the bottle into one of these um, then I'll write on the cow's number uh, her yield and then that is it done. that's me all done I'm um, probably covered in cow dung <laughs> probably should have explained we usually would have somebody else come in and do our milk recording but obviously because of coronavirus it's quite hard to, to be socially distant in a milking parlor so that's why I'm doing it myself I hope you enjoyed this video it's probably something a little bit different I don't know if this is the kind of route that this channel will go down or not it'll probably just be ramblings on whatever I'm getting up to. Wee tidbits of sort of information thrown in between. So hope you enjoyed and I will see you in my next one.